Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. We are doing a 30 day challenge, so it's a great time to join me. It is a 30 day lippy challenge and today is day two, which I don't know, it seems like it's a long way to day 30, but I am looking around and I have so many lip products and I have so many thoughts. And so today I did a super fun I look um, kind of to balance out how unfun my day was at work. I had to tap into 1984 kind of a Miami, Miami Vice vibe um, with the ColourPop Shell Shocked palette. This is a beautiful palette. Really, really is pretty. It has some really vibrant colors. You don't have to put all the colors on your eyeballs like I did, but you could put some and still have a lot of pretty colors. So yeah, that's my plug for this. I list everything else I'm wearing on my face. I'm pretty happy with my makeup today. A lot of this is ColourPop. I was revisiting, I was revisiting. But we are not here to talk about ColourPop. We are here to talk about lip oils and in particular, Clarins Lip Oil. Now, I have done a video on the new formulation of Clarins Iconic Lip Oil, and I have to say, I think that was one of my more popular videos, and I heard you, I heard a lot of you say, why would Clarins take an iconic product and reformulate it? And so, you know, I wasn't the biggest fan of the reformulation. Um, there were some pros and cons to it, but I think overall, I don't feel like it hit it out of the park to require a reformulation. So I have been on the lookout for a product that I feel would be comparable to that old formulation that I think you all were very, very interested in. So I have a mini of the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in 01, which is honey. And it doesn't have the applicator it would have on the large. And oddly enough, honey just smells like candy. Uh, I think they missed the opportunity if you're gonna scent things, put fragrance in it, even if it's a natural fragrance, which I know that Clarins loves to use, lots of plants, flowers, and whatnot. Um, I don't know, the sweet smelling kind of can like cotton candy vibe. Uh, I don't know. They could have done a better job, but this is the formulation. This is the color honey. It's essentially clear. I think it's fine. It's not my favorite formula. Um, I find that still when you reapply it over and over, it can get quite gloopy. It doesn't matter so much on a color like this because it's a bit colorless, but with the ones in some other shades, it could become quite messy 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 um so i will link my longer review regarding this because this is not what i want to share with you i want to share with you the product i feel is essentially a dupe to the older formula here i have in my hand sigma's renew lip oil and tranquil i had seen a few people talking about sigma lip products i picked up a couple i had actually never tried sigma lip products that's not true I tried one a while ago that I kind of flip-flopped on. Um, it was their lip mask, I think, um, or a lip balm. Anywho, I hadn't tried any other product besides that. And so I saw this and I said, wait a second. And then when I saw the doe foot, I said, well, this is Clinique's doe foot. It's this really thick, kind of little chubby guy. So that is the shade. You can see the difference in my lip color. So it does impart a nice amount of color. And always using this type of doe foot, it's just a very comforting experience. It feels very luxe, plush to put a product on. 
but that is the color Tranquil. I think it looks beautiful with this eye look. I feel like it's a really pretty, pretty high gloss that has a little bit of a pink sheen. I feel like this product does a couple of things that the old formula of Clarins did and kind of makes the product even a little bit better in a way. The plushiness of this product, it, this is much thicker than the new Clarins Comfort Lip Oil. And that was one of the things people were mad about was how much thinner the formula is. This one is a pretty thick plush formula, the Sigma one. And I feel like it very much resembles the old Clarins Lip Oil. So if you're looking for that, this might be for you. Another thing that is really, really nice, which I know a lot of people never tried Clarins for, because of the fragrance in the product, this one seems completely unfragranced to me. And I think that's great. You do not find enough really good fragrance-free products, and this does feel like it's fragrance-free. I don't have any kind of reaction, and I can't smell anything really discernible um, from the applicator. Another thing I really like is that it imparts a decent amount of color but it's still sheer, but the color it imparts is complementary to the color in the container. You know, I think in my old video, I had uh, chosen like the deepest color in the new line of Clarins and it had such little pigmentation. It was so disappointing. Because if you are gonna wanna buy like the deepest or the brightest color, you do want it to have at least the essence of that color and I feel like it was missing that. And so this, I really applaud Sigma. I almost wonder, you know, I'm curious about the other shades and to see, are they all the same? But uh, for this one, Tranquil, I just think it's so, so pretty. Um, it also does something that I feel like Clarins doesn't do very well, which is, does it layer? Does it layer as it wears down naturally in just a few hours? Does it layer well? And the answer for me on the Sigma is it does a great job layering. I can naturally have this wear down and then reapply. And I really do feel like it has quite a lot of really lovely ingredients that feel like they are nourishing. Now, Clarins also has a lot of lovely ingredients that are nourishing, but I just don't feel like my lips feel nourished afterwards, whereas my lips really feel nourished after using the Sigma. I mean, I have liked this so much. I've actually used it as a nighttime lip mask, and my lips have woken up really, really nice and plump, and it just does really nice things for like your lip lines. So I don't know. I think this is really pretty. But if you thought that this was going to be the only thing I talk about, I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to surprise myself because along with purchasing this ColourPop Up Shell Shocked, in this collection, they released some lip glosses, the So Glassy lip glosses. Now, I purchased one of these. I purchased the color, my goodness. And I haven't tried ColourPop lip glosses in a super long time. So this is really my first time out of the gate. And I picked it up because I just thought it was so pretty. It's like this iridescent color and the packaging is really pretty. It matches that iridescence. And I thought it would be kind of fun lipstick topper. What was shocking about this was how much it resembled these lip oils. Let me wipe this off and show you. So I've taken that off. I am going to, and I just wanna show you, it has a little shell and it says so glassy on the front. The applicator is nowhere near as plush and wonderful as the Sigma or the Clarins, but it's kind of a flat paddle with a little bit of a pointed edge. The color is really unique. It's highly reflective and has this flip to it, this duo chromatic flip, which by the way, my nails have a very similar flip. They actually go from green to brown, like a taupe to pink. So uh, I'm clearly feeling some kind of way. Mm. 
This feels just as plush as the Sigma. I mean, it is really, really high gloss. It has that iridescence, so it's a little bit more fun. Um, it feels very hydrating. Now, I don't think I would put this on for bed like I've been doing the Sigma and kind of give myself a treat that way. I think that I would keep this in my bag to kind of have fun with layering it over lipsticks, but I was very surprised that the new So Glassy Lip Gloss from ColourPop really resembled the vibe of the Sigma Renew Lip Oil and also the Clarins Comfort Lip Oil. So I'd say if you're on a budget and you come across the ColourPop, this feels nice. This feels plush and hydrating. It's maybe a tiny bit, a tiny bit stickier. I wouldn't go layer this too much. Uh, the Sigma is a, a less sticky, but, um, but yeah, I just thought that was very impressive. I just thought that was really, really pretty. So I wanted to share that with you all. I hope that you found that interesting. I think you, if you were upset about the new Clarins reformulation, give the Sigma Renew Oil a shot. And if you want something slightly kind of colorless, transparent, and I can at least attest to Tranquil being quite transparent with only a slight sheen of pink. I mean, I think it would be universally flattering on a lot of skin tones. So maybe pick up Tranquil. I can't speak to all the others, but they do look very pretty and I'm sure that they are quite lovely. So that was fun, inspired by fun eye makeup. I love a really nice plush lip gloss or lip oil, especially when I'm wearing like a really bold eye. And so I hope that you also were inspired. If you enjoyed that, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when day three is posted because tomorrow is gonna be a whole other lip product and who knows, it might be the one that you've been looking for. Okay, take care everyone. We'll talk soon. Bye.